this side, heated professional greenhouse. I am by far no means a professional. my new seed starting studio. Uh, it's inspired from Laura from Garden Answers. Um, it's not nearly as fancy as hers, but I decided to turn this little room that we have in the garage into my seed starting studio. It's a dedicated area in our garage that I can control the temperature in. I've set up some shelving and it's going to be a great start this year to my seed starts. It's gonna be a great start to my seed starts. You know what I mean. It's a great space that I can commit to having seed starts in and it's out of the way. Um, it's a room off of our garage. So this is the door out to the garage. There's our really dirty car. And it has like the water heater and the furnace and that kind of stuff in it. So our garage is a heated garage. This room gets a little bit warmer because the, like I just said, the water heater and the, the it's not a thermostat, what is that thing? The furnace. And the furnace is in this room. So I've also added, I don't know if you can see down here. Yes, you can see it. I've added a little heater in here just to control the temperature so when you, open the door or if the door accidentally gets left open maybe um, I put a heater in here so that I can keep it at I've got it set at 70 degrees right now my seeds that I started and of course the heater comes on uh, the seeds I started the other day are Lysiantha seeds <clears throat> anybody else attempting this feat of starting Lysianthus from seed. Apparently this is a very difficult seed to maintain because it takes so long for it to grow and germinate and do all the things that seeds do. But I thought, wow, that's a, that's sounds like right up my alley. Let's try that. As a beginner gardener, this is only my second season really committing myself to growing a garden and uh, making my own making my own garden, growing my own garden, growing my own seeds, regardless of what I'm trying to say, is I have a dedicated space now to start my seeds. So let me show you around. I don't have a lot of space in here, but I'll show you what I put in it. So over in this section, which is like two feet from where you just were, I put some shelving. It's just your basic uh, utility shelves that I picked up at the local big box hardware store. Um, it's a six tier metal shelves. It's got wheels on the bottom so I can wheel it around if I need to move it. And again, there's not a lot of space in here. This is where it's going to stay and it's a dedicated space for it. So I don't really anticipate moving it, but it has wheels just in case we need to. And I'm using shop lights. So there's lots of information on grow lights out there. And really lots of information on gardening and how to start seeds. You just kind of have to pick what's going to work for you. So what works for me? Shop lights. They are 4,500 lumen. So you need a minimum of 4,000 lumen to, to germinate your seeds, I think. So these are each, <clears throat> each light is 4,500 lumens and there's two on each shelf. I will be adding more. Uh, these down here are motion sensor lights, which when I ordered them, I didn't realize they didn't have an on off switch. And I'll show you some, um, <clears throat> I'll show you some footage of us setting up our shelving in here and <clears throat> realizing that the lights I ordered are motion sensor lights and that's all they are there's no on off switch so we have some new lights for the garage motion sensor lights I will replace those 
with some other kind of lights because after 10 minutes they turn off unless there's movement. I'm thinking that they're, you know when you get your seedlings big enough and you put a fan and there's movement, but I don't think that's gonna be enough movement to keep these lights on. So anyways, we took the old lights that we had out in the garage and put these in to use in here. And I'll put these lights that are motion sensitive out in the garage. Anyways, beginner mistake learning. Who would have thought ordering shop lights with a motion detector that they didn't have an on off switch? The joys of ordering things online and not being able to, you know, pick them up and look at them and realize, oh, there's no on off switch. Anyways, lesson learned in that. So, my first setup is a tray of Lysianthus, and this is. I think 64. So I picked this up. This is the French side, which I don't know how to read. So the English side, heated professional greenhouse. I am by far no means a professional, but I thought that I did qualify for something like this. It comes with the little pellets, which I've never used before, but they seem, they seem really easy. I've seen other videos on YouTube of people using these, um, these peak pellets. And I thought to keep it as simple as I could with Lysiantha seeds, I'd put them in these pellets. I don't know if they'll work. I don't know if I'm going to get anything that's even going to germinate, but we started with the pellets. They have a tray so you can bottom water them and it came with a heat mat. So I didn't have a heat mat. And I think the biggest thing with germination with your Lysiansis seeds is keeping them warm with the heat mat. And it also came with the cover of the dome. So this is day two and nothing's happening yet with those seeds. We will see. I'll keep you posted on whether anything grows or if anything dies or I don't know what I'm really doing with the Lysiansis seeds. Let me know in the comments below if you've tried Lysiansis seeds and if you actually got any flowers. They are beautiful looking flowers. I'm very hopeful and it's my first try with them. If it doesn't work, I will try again and learn from your mistakes. You're really only going to learn how to do it if you do it. So that's where I've started from is a little kit from the hardware store with a heat mat and a tray and some pucks, peat pucks, maybe they're called peat pucks. So that's what I've started off with that. We have two different kinds, uh, Lysiantha Champagne Voyager 2, Lysiantha Arena 3 Gold. So I don't know how well they'll germinate or if they'll germinate or if they'll grow, but I'm excited to try them and I'll keep you posted on how they go. I'm just excited to start seeds and get something germinating and growing. That's the fun of it. I, I just enjoy watching that part of it. and the challenge of trying to keep these little babies alive. So I have my nice new setup in my studio. Um, I was thinking about doing something on the walls. I like the brick background, maybe a nice brick. You know, it might think I'm in a cave then, I don't know. But I have a studio, I, I'm calling it a studio. It's heated, temperature controlled, lights, shelving, seeds what more do you need well guys thanks for watching the video it's just a short quick video i hope you liked it uh, the new tour of my new seed studio you can kind of see on the angle there that it's not very wide we have a rack of all our snowmobile gear on this side this is where we get ready to go out on the sleds nice and warm now it's 70 degrees with my little heater so let me know in the comments below what seeds you're starting what zone you're in and what zone or what seeds you start when for your zone I'm Southern Ontario, well mid-Ontario mid in a zone 5B and I'm starting, I'm starting my seeds. Let me know in the comments below. Again, thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel so you can keep updated on how I make out with my seeds this year. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Look at those seeds. Look at those seeds. Happy growing. We'll see you in the morning.